hey guys this is sushan welcome to the luma fusion advanced keyframing tutorial in this tutorial i am going to teach you how to create e scene out effect it means we are going to learn advanced keyframing in order to animate the text animation here you can see the result beautiful let's play the project how beautiful it's looking very smooth with the 30 fps project setting here i will show you the project setting this is 30 frame rate aspect ratio 16 is to 9 color space 709 okay it's a standard and it's easy to create just we have to understand how this graph works in luma fusion let me show you this project again let's play it slowly see how it's looking wonderful slowly and again you will see the fast animation slow and again fast okay here you can see the stretch animation to the text let's see this see beautiful and how smooth it is with the 30 fps you don't need to switch to the 61 to achieve the great motion graphics just applying the perfect graph okay just playing with the perfect graph you can achieve this beautiful motion graphics you can animate the title very easily okay let's start with the new title overlay title okay and first thing is we are going to set the title length okay here i am going to play with the 2020 frame or i will show you how to get the 20 frames first we are going to create a dummy clip like this and scale down to the 20 frame like this 2020 create a duplicate like this okay and you can delete the rest part and you can also delete this okay now we have the title length of one second 10 frames okay this is very important now tab on edit and we are going to set the text play with the fonts you can select any font you like i am going to use the impact one and the face color will be the yellow you can choose as per your project okay now move to the frame and fit here you can see the graph if you cannot you can just tap over here in the middle and it will disappear and again you can turn it on okay and along with you can see the zoom navigation like this and you can scale down like this to see our canvas you can zoom it zoom out it's a very useful tool i will say while working with the text animation for any project okay now here you can see the graph with the 10 box let's count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 there are total 10 box i will show you how this thing will work that's why i told you it's a 10 okay now our first job is to put the key framing points to the graph okay and here we are going to create the three key framing points like this first and second one will be in the middle like this 0 0.20 and create a second mark and the last will be the third mark here you can see the mountain in the linear animation here you can see what is linear here you can see the graph it's in a straight line it is called as linear animation right now we have not added any parameters to animate but we are going to add right now now move your playhead to the first key framing point and we are going to play with the position like this okay now we are going to make change in y position like this and it will be like this till 120 okay you don't need to be precise okay so don't worry and move your second and now you can move your first keyframe to the second keyframing like this to the 0 0.20 and we are going to make change like this and move your text to the bottom of the canvas like this and rest will be in the center or you can move up a little bit like this done now let's play here you can see the simple animation 
but it's in linear we have not added any motion to the text like this see here you can see some beautiful motions that is slow and fast motion see okay now again go to edit like this we are going to add the curves to the graph okay now here you can see the green color graph and the purple one if you make change in purple here you can see the affected area see purple one will affect and if you play with the green one the green one will affect okay now first we are going to move our playhead okay on the left hand side and move your playhead between the this two graph see this two graph between the two graph lines we are going to put our playhead like this it is very important okay like this and we are going to play with the green slider and we are going to move this green to the left like this till end okay don't stretch it till full end till this first one okay and move your purple slider to the right like this and we are going to create the animation something like this beautiful okay and again we are going to replicate this same so move your this white playhead to the second graph okay over here between the two graph line like this and we are going to play with the purple slider like this move to the left here you can see the affected area and move your green slider to the right like this and try to match the animation means the graph perfect okay little more perfect okay here you can see our graph is ready now let me explain you about the graph animation why we did this kind of mountain animation what exactly it represents okay it is very important now let's move our playhead to the left graph over here you can see this yellow color line from the start it's little lower and it's getting upward like this what this yellow color graph represent that from the start it will be the slower animation like this and slowly it will take to the upper peak means it will be the faster animation then from the fast it will be the again slower animation so like this this portion called slower animation this is the faster animation so see this perfect so slowly and again it's fast okay so here we have created the perfect animation but we need to give little more enhancement to the text okay here we can use this navigation tool to see the text okay let's play it again perfect now here we can see we have added the stretch animation see it's a stretch animation to the text okay go to edit and go to colors and effect go to this distort animation tab here you can find bump in the bump you can find the distort one okay just tab like this and first make change in this distort parameter so make this setting that will be the one angle will be zero and the scale will be one okay this is the primary setting now here we are going to make the keyframing for the distort animation that will create the stretch animation to the text make a first keyframe second keyframe and the third keyframe okay now let's play with this middle one okay we are going to make change in this scale parameter okay now move the slider from 1 to 55 like this okay and here you can see the effect of the stretch let's play it perfect now we are going to add the curves again again repeat the same procedure that i have shown you 
over here okay to get the smoother animation now move the playhead over here between the two graph lines and repeat the same process like this again move over here repeat the same process purple slider and the, this one will be on the right hand side and match the animation here you can see our stretch animation is ready wow it's looking very beautiful now let's play perfect now you can stretch our title like this to any length see perfect beautiful so smooth okay now you can copy the rest thing if you want to animate this text which goes up like this okay so here you can see what i did in the frame and fit now here you can see this is our primary animation that is the mountain one and second this is the vice versa okay see how it's playing it's going up perfect okay so like this here you can create the beautiful animation using the advanced keyframing using the luma fusion 5 i hope you love the tutorial then give a big thumbs up and share with your friends see you soon in the brand new tutorial till then take care stay safe Bye-bye.